Hello everyone, this is 1392 and I'm here with another review video. As you can see, I have a few interesting, well, eh, they're interesting to me. I've actually never had a 5th Avenue board ever, so this will be my first time ever trying one. Uh, I found these things called Now and Later Shell Shock. I'm assuming it's some kind of crunchy gummy candy. And I found one more um, of the tastes of the US or whatever this line of candy is. It is a payday that is barbecue flavored, so this should be kind of interesting. Um, flavor of Texas barbecue. I actually expect it to be a little uh, tangy or spicy or something, so let's go ahead and look at that. Look at the, here's the packaging. It is actually really nice. Uh, it's got all the Texas stuff on here. I wish my webcam would do a little better. It's got a little bottle of barbecue sauce in the, go over that way. Yeah. So let's uh, go ahead and tear it down and uh, give it a good try. It is orange looking. Holy crap. Look at all that seasoning open. And as you know, paydays are literally just. I guess caramel and peanut. I'm not entirely sure. Huh. Mmm. That's actually pretty good. It's different. It's like sweet and savory, I guess. And look, it is bright freaking orange. Oh, wow. Mmm. Okay, that's a weird taste. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's weird. It's a smoky barbecue flavor. It's kind of spicy, but not like spicy spicy, it's um tangy. I don't know, that is a weird flavor. Um, that is, I don't know how to explain that. That is a weird taste. Ugh. Like, it's good, but it's just so weird. <sighs> let's, um, let's just move on to the Fifth Avenue bar. I'll, I'll come back to the payday in a minute. Fifth Avenue, it is... Crunchy peanut butter and chocolate. So yeah, I'm a very big peanut butter fanatic. I love peanut butter. Uh, should be pretty basic. I think they've been Fifth Avenue's been around for a very long time. If I had to stop dropping everything. Um, I mean, it's uh, the packaging itself. I mean, just the black and the red and yellow lettering. It's very simple, very eye catching. So. That's what it looks like on the inside. So it's kind of like, actually, okay, it's um, kind of like a Butterfinger. Except it tastes more like peanut butter. Mmm. It's like the Reese's Peanut Butter uh, Crisp, except um, the Reese's Peanut Butter Crisp has a lot more, um, has a heck of a lot more peanut butter flavor to it, but that's actually pretty good. It's not overpowering. It's nice and rich. And it's nice. It's good. Good little 78 cent thing there. Now and later, we have Apple, banana, strawberry, cherry, and grape. And yes, I bought these at Walmart, and they're all 78 cents. I like the bag. It looks good. Oh, and it's got the little notch here and thing where you can just do it simply. Wow, that is strong. Oh, candies are actually pretty big. Um, let's see here. 
I had a pink one. There we go. Uh, the candies are a little bit bigger than a penny. Uh, they're square. I'm assuming this one's going to be the cherry. Hmm. Okay, that's hard. Uh, it is the cherry. Now and later, the long lasting chew. Hmm. That long lasting. And this should be the green apple. They're very hard to get through. What it is, it's not a, um, green apple's pretty good. It's not like a crunchy outer shell and there's gummy in the middle. It's just like a very stiff, um, chewy thing, like, a. Uh, like when you get bubble gum and it's cold and it starts off hard and you chew it and it gets soft, especially what this is. But yeah, the green apple tastes pretty good. I'm assuming the banana should be good. I'm having a hard time figuring out which one of these is the freaking strawberry. Oh, wait a minute. Nope. Strawberry's pink. Not sure why it's always usually pink, but it is. Come here, grape. Hi, grape. <laughs> yeah, that's the packaging being the packaging. And here's the other three flavors. Um. I'm assuming the banana is usually going to be a strong one. <sighs> yeah. Definitely tastes like banana. <laughs> hmm. It's got a very interesting taste to it. <laughs> you know, like banana does. And banana flavored candy. It's so weird having the banana flavor without the texture. Because, you know, banana has that texture that just goes with it. And every time you eat something banana flavored and there's no... And that texture's not there. It just kind of messes with you a bit. Mmm. It's pretty good, though. I'm really having high expectations of the grape flavor and the strawberry flavor. Something turned on in my apartment. All right, come on, grape. Come on, grape, come on, come on. Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. Nope, nothing. It is grape flavor. Hmm. It's pretty good. It's um, it's not an overpowered flavor. I don't know how to explain that. It's like you can taste it's great, but it's very. God, it's so weird because I've. Candies now don't seem to be overpowered with their flavors, which is kind of good, but at the same time, it's like, since, there goes the truck, but since it's, um, 
since we're so used to overpowered flavors, at least I am when it comes to certain things, it's so weird to get a hold of something that doesn't have a whole lot of flavor to it, like these. So I guess that means this isn't going to be that strong either, but hopefully it'll still be good. And this is the strawberry one. Hmm. Okay, I think the strawberry is my favorite one out of those right now. It's very, um, it's there in taste, but it's, um, hmm. I don't know. So, see, I'll have the same texture it, it's messing with it. Hmm. It is good though. These are good. Now and later. Which I don't. Candy coated chewy bites. I don't get what that means by the long lasting chew. I guess it's because it's supposed to take a while to chew through it. And if you eat them one at a time, it'll take you a while to get through it. But someone's going down that whole bag and try to eat them all at once. But I will say, I like the Fifth Avenue. It's actually not bad. I need to get an O. Henry and try it, because I don't think I've ever had one of them. The Payday, though, it is such a weird flavor. I mean, I'm not going to say it's bad, but it's not like... I don't think this would be something I would eat on the regular. But hey, if, you got, if you're a huge fan of barbecue and peanuts, I would recommend it. I mean, you got that savory and sweet and all that, and... It looks, it really looks good. It looks like something that Logan's Roadhouse or uh, some steak place would definitely sell, like, uh, with its stuff. Hey, it seems like a place, any barbecue place would sell. And, uh, I don't know. I hope they do more flavors other than uh, Georgia, Georgia, New York, California and Texas. I hope they do. I actually hope they do something for all 50 states. I just don't know how they would go about doing it because we got your Hershey bar, we got the Payday, Reese Cup, and Kit Kat. So I'm not sure what else they should do, but I really hope they do. Because maybe they can do another one where it's like a uh, Reese Cup type of thing. Or something, you know, uh, not a Reese's Cup, dang it, um, or they could do a, um, Hershey's Kiss type of thing, maybe, which would be good, um, I gotta say, these are good, they were interesting, Fifth Avenue is good, as I said, the Payday has got a weird taste, I don't know if I'd eat it regularly, but it's not bad, it's just, I really don't know if I'd see myself eating this on a regular basis, but it is good though. Probably of the four that has came out, my favorite one has got to be the Reese Cup. Honey roasted peanut butter. Oh my god, that needs to become a thing. Not just something in one one-off candy that's going to disappear at some point in time. Like all good candies do. All the good candies always disappear. And you, everybody knows that. All good stuff comes to an end and companies don't know what they're doing to us. Or maybe they do. I don't know. But anyway, I hope you guys are still enjoying this series. Uh, like and subscribe. It helps me out. And uh, stay tuned for the next one. And peace out, guys.